Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ray, that's Koji, and today, well, it's time for another Market Watch while we get ready for OP08. But before we actually get looking at the market to get ready for the next set, I want to quickly tell you guys about today's giveaway. So for this video, I will be giving away one Japanese Kiros from OP04. Look at that. Looking absolutely gorgeous. So even if you are not a Japanese collector, I think the artwork still looks absolutely amazing so yeah if you want to be part of this giveaway all you have to do is make sure to hit the like button subscribe and leave a comment down below i will do the draw this saturday so make sure you stay subscribed so that you know if you actually won all right uh also quickly i want to shout out the members of my wolf pack and as a reminder my members only giveaway for this month is going to be this sabo alt art this one's going to be english though look at that absolutely gorgeous the new flame emperor and all you have to do to be part of this giveaway is become a member for the month of September. If you want, you can just be a member for one month and then dip. Um, but yeah, if you want to be part of the giveaway, all you, that's all you have to do. All right, now without further ado, let's go check out the new market. And uh, yeah, let's go get ready. All right, guys. Finally, it's time for another episode of Market Watch where we look at some of the secondary prices. Uh, in this episode, we will be primarily focusing on OP07 and answer the question does the huge amount of available products for op7 tanking the value of its singles that's one thing that i have uh, heard a lot um either locals or you know in in um online scuttlebutt that with the availability and seemingly print on demand of bandai with op07 that basically the value of the cards are nil zero uh just because there's so much of the products that's available uh i am looking to do a little bit of research and actually look into it how does this value of op07 singles compare to a set that's a lot more in demand a lot more expensive in terms of sealed and compare the prices and uh yeah and see you know, does having a lower valued boxes mean that the cards are <laughs> worth nothing? Well, let's go find out. Uh, the way that I will be doing and conducting this research is that I will basically compare the OP07 uh, prices in all of its categories. Sealed, mangas, SPs, leaders, uh, alt arts, secret rares, and SRs to those of a much 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 more in-demand product op05 uh just looking at the seal prices it's unbelievable how much more expensive op07 or op05 prices are and then yeah i'm just gonna compare the prices of um the singles you know uh that's definitely something uh op05 is a, a set that a lot of people are holding a lot more into sealed uh, just because um a month of the um uh, chase cards in this set is enormous with a manga luffy uh heading the charts there uh and then compared it to op07 where there's honestly so many bosses um at msrp or even below msrp that i've found not just in canada but in the us and other markets as well so i'm going to compare all of the singles uh in a set that's uh printed in demand and then the another one where it's a lot more scarce so first, we are going to start out the exercise by comparing the sealed product prices so that you guys can see what we're kind of working with. So here is OP07. Uh, honestly, um, I haven't seen this kind of uh, declining prices in pretty much a year since OP04 when that released before OP05. As you can see, when it released around like you know $177 and then slowly uh, declined throughout the release and about uh, you know where the advent of OP08 right now. As you can see, the market price is around 88 US dollars. I believe MSRP is like 90 US dollars. So as you can see, even a TCG player, it's being sold under mar our MSRP prices, uh, which is great. You know, that's something that we have been asking for as One Piece fans player collector whoever uh we just want more products that's cheaper <laughs> that we can actually hopefully find in the wild um bandai has responded with a lot more op07 prices uh, boxes printed uh you see a lot more blisters in uh, the wild in the us um 
as well as uh, other places. Um, so that's great for a lot of uh, players and collectors alike. Uh, but obviously, one of the things that with that, a lot of people are worried, I guess. Maybe that's too strong of a word. But they are, you know, thinking that a lot of the singles that they have there, you know, their values is basically uh, tanked just because there's so many products available in less than MSRP prices. So now we're, we're actually going to look at it and compare it to OP05. And uh, yeah, as you can see, compared to OP05, the prices of the sealed products are just going up. Uh, the height of over 231 US dollars and obviously it went down with a lot more reprints but even then it's slowly going up and it's right now um, it's uh, being sold at $169.43 USD and the market prices are on $174 um, there and that is uh, nearly double the price of OP07 products right so as you can see with the climb it, it shows us that um, even though there might be equal or close amount of products available, a lot of people are holding into it and there's less sealed products available on the wild. Um, so in terms of scarcity, we can probably assume that OP05 is a lot more scarce in terms of uh, cards available than OP07. There's so many OP07 products available out there, sealed or um, singles, uh, which is great. And then, yeah, let's go check it out and see how each set compares is the prices in OP07 actually zero compared to OP05? Uh, yeah, so we're gonna start out, as I said before, I mentioned we're gonna go categorically in every single facet of each set. So we're gonna start out with the most expensive part of each set, the manga rares. Um, so first, let's go look at um, OP07. So OP07 obviously, obviously have manga boa. Manga boa right now has a market price of $656.00. 85 cents usd and it looks like it pretty much hold held that price uh aside from the initial wave in the beginning there so it looks like it's gonna be holding around that price for um foreseeable future which is pretty pretty good it's a chase card but how does it compare to op05 well obviously the main reason why op05 is that expensive is because of this luffy manga card uh yeah the value of this one is unbelievable it's pretty much what six five over five times the price of the manga boa um part of the reason why this card is so expensive is that there's four manga cards or chase cards in this set so the odds of you actually pulling manga luffy is a lot lower than actually just pulling manga boa uh so yeah the market price of uh, this luffy uh, manga luffy card is three thousand two hundred eighty one dollars which is insane now let's go look at uh, other chase cards in the set uh next we have the oda signed card this one uh definitely not as expensive the manga but still really really expensive i think this is the second most expensive um card that you can pull that's not accounting for any regionals or treasure cups uh so yeah it's at 1444 usd i was actually fortunate to pull two of these during the op05 release one during my pre-release uh for op05 and the other one in uh just opening up uh, my case uh so yeah so it looks like it's settling out around there it kind of went uh down a, a couple so uh, i won't be surprised if it's gonna hold uh this value for a while and then let's go look at the other two manga chases in the set so one is around um uh next we have law uh this one is at 779 dollars uh and 19 cents usd which is definitely uh, closer to manga boa but definitely a lot more so it's about 150 dollars more than manga boa um so you know uh it could be reflective because of the seal prices are a lot more with the op05 compared to op07 um, but i honestly think that this kid uh this law manga and this kid manga will probably settle around uh closer to manga boa when it's all said and done um but yeah so here's a uh, manga kid and this one same thing it's uh even lower than uh, law this one's 705 usd so it's actually just $50 between uh, Manga Kid and Manga Boa. So I won't be surprised. Yeah, I said before that they are going to be a lot closer than it seems. So comparing the manga prices with OP05 and OP07, uh, obviously OP05 is way more expensive just because of the hits and the scarcity and the rarity that you're actually pull the Luffy cards. And obviously Luffy is Luffy. Luffy is the mascot and number one most popular character in all of One Piece. So I'm not surprised that his 
MAGA card is out of this world expensive. And that actually reflects why OP05 is um, that expensive uh, sealed compared to OP07. All right. But, you know, that's only one part of the story. You know, uh, obviously it says that the chase cards in OP05 is way more expensive than OP07. Now let's go look at the other cards and actually how they compare. Um, the rest of the singles are probably what most um, of the collectors and players in the One Piece card game will actually have. All right. So let's go look at the sps in op07 uh one thing that's really really interesting in this comparison is that there's a nami um in the uh, there's a nami sp in op05 as well as in op07 so we can kind of see even though it's the same character uh, you can kind of see the difference in prices if one uh, card is more expensive than the other all right so let's go let's start out with op07 and uh, as you can see, the prices of their SPs are actually pretty healthy. Yeah, I, th I think it's pretty, it's pretty high. Uh, this Onami card right now is selling for $125.65 as a market price. And it looks like it's it's around holding that price. It went up a little bit uh, a month ago or so. and But then it looks like it's holding at this price right now. Next, we have uh, Dofi SP. Uh, this one, same thing. Oh, it's actually climbing a little bit. Uh, so this one is uh, market price is seventy six dollars and fifty one cents. As I said before, it was going down, then it's slowly climbing up. It might be reflective of the popularity of uh, Blue Dofi in future sets, OP zero eight and OP zero nine, uh, particularly. Next, we have Izo SP. Same thing. Uh, it's uh, the market price right now is fifty six dollars sixty eight cents, and obviously, like red is not the meta right now so it's it's not even the the playability of the card uh maybe in the future but not right now and as you can see last month or so it's actually climbed up and it's uh it's just, yeah it's just going up even though there's uh obviously more op07 out in the wild that's way more affordable so more people can just crack it and as you can see that's not stopping this card to even go up in price even though this card is not really that playable right now white beard coming back in the future well maybe this <laughs> the price of this card will even skyrocket even more in the future next we have kid or as i say captain mid uh compared to the other two the price is actually uh you know slowly trending down but um you know it's still holding um pretty good value at 42 dollars and 22 cents um so this is like the third sp our most expensive sp in the set next we have isho uh, Isho, it looks like, yeah, this one actually went up the last month or so. This one's at $38.80 right now. Uh, it's a tech card uh, in terms of um, being played. Um, so it's not even a mandatory. It's not like it's Queen uh, or something like that. That's, you know, um, or Gecko Moria. That's a mandatory ad in any deck. So uh, this issue card is a little bit more of a tech for Rob Lucci or any black decks out there. Uh, and then next and finally, we have Okiku as the last SP. As you can see, uh, this is the cheapest SP. This one's just under $19, and it looks like, yeah, it's slowly going down. It's going to probably hold this price in a long while. So as you can see, a lot of uh, variants in terms of SPs in OP07. We have some really, really good prices in the top end with the Onami. And then you can see uh, the the least expensive and, I guess, desired SP out there is Okiku. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of different um, things that account for that. Uh, one is the playability of the card not there and maybe popularity of the character all right next let's go compare it to op05 <laughs> starting out with the nami sp and op05 so it'll be a nice interesting comparison in op07 and op05 because you know they're both nami cards but as you can see yeah onami is actually more expensive than this one uh, obviously, in terms of playability, Onami is more playable right now um, with NL and um, and pretty much any yellow decks out there that want to run it. I guess Katakuri can run it uh, as well, um, but it's not like um, but it's not like Onami is one of those uh, meta-defining cards out in there in the set. Uh, both comparable characters, obviously, both are Nami. Uh, you can kind of decide for yourself which nami is artwork you like better uh, both are great in their own ways 
Um, I personally love both, so I think they're equal in my eyes. And uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, it looks like it's holding its prices. Um, but yeah, the most expensive SPs right now in OP05 that you can pull is uh, this Nami card. And its uh, market price is at $97.08. So that, uh, less than a Nami in OP07. Next, we have NL. Uh, obviously, this is uh, another tech card for another popular deck moving forward, which is NL. And uh, yeah, this one's a market price of $59.27. Let's compare it to the second most expensive SPs in OP07 uh, with the Dofi. And yeah, as you can see, Dofi, second most expensive SP, is, uh, you know, OP07 is actually higher there. Uh, next, let's go look at the third most expensive in OP05. We have Yamato here. Uh, Yamato, the market price is around $49.19. Uh, this is the reprint from OP01. So not particularly uh, playable in terms of like the meta. Let's go compare it to Izo, which is the third one. As you can see, Izo is about there, uh, a little bit higher with $56.68 there. Um, uh, so yeah, as you can see right now, it looks like OP07 uh, single prices, <laughs> is particularly in the SPs. OP07 is actually having a leg up <laughs> in the singles prices compared to uh, OP05, uh, which is surprising to me just because I thought that with the availability of OP07 in the wild, that there's way more OP07 cards out there that will tank. <laughs> but as you can see, it's very comparable and even higher than uh, a much more in-demand and, and um, rarer set out there with OP05. Uh, yeah, so let's go continue. Let's go look at another SP. We have Uta. So Uta's market price is $41.45. Yeah, it looks like it's about holding a their price. And let's go compare it to another SP here. Yeah, you know, with the uh, kid, it's $42. So very similar there. And then the last one, the most, uh, the cheapest one, uh, we have Kaido. Uh, and it looks like Kaido is slowly going down it's the value right now is $39.23 and it's definitely a lot more expensive than the cheapest SP in OP07 uh, which is oh I guess um, it's compared to the ESO here so there's actually uh, comparable there so this is uh, fifth most, most expensive one and then the least expensive SPs in OP05 is this Rabuchi or it's around $17.97, which is pretty much the same price as the Okiku SPs in OP07. As you can see, prices are very comparable. Prices are th the same. And it looks like there's really not that much difference in terms of pricing. And honestly, uh, the prices in uh, uh, OP07 singles, uh, especially in the SPs, it looks like OP07 actually wins. It's actually a lot higher compared to OP05. So yeah, it's really interesting to see um that the prices actually holds up and even more so than a lot more in demand set in op05 okay so that has been sp next is go look at the leaders and then we're gonna look at the um quick snapshot of the character alt arts and then we're gonna end it up with the secret rares all right let's go look next at the leader alt arts uh in terms of the pricing let's go start out with op07 as always so let's go look at the most expensive leader out there right now uh in op07 it is a bonnie so bonnie leader alt art the prices right now the market price is 60 dollars 63 cents um obviously this comparison is a little bit of um flawed uh just because obviously it depends on the playability of the leader that a lot of it is gonna you know, dictate the prices a lot of these cards this is more of like um this comparison is more of a, a guidance for you everyone to kind of compare two sets one that's way more in demand versus one that's it looks like everyone could just buy it at a very very cheap price um so yeah Next, let's go look at uh, Hancock and Boa. So Boa right now, same thing, market price at $57.43. Um, second most expensive uh, leader out there. Next, we have Rob Toretto or Rob Lucci. <laughs> we have the uh, Rob Lucci right now. It's at $36.71. And then uh, the uh, next, we have um, Vegapunk. Vegapunk right now, um, price is actually going up a little bit. Uh, he's right now at $35.61. And then we have the last two least playable leaders out there. Uh, we have uh, Foxy. Foxy, wow, we actually went up a little bit. It's now at $17.04. And then last one, we have Dragon. Uh, and then Dragon right now is at around the same price, around $16.62. So 
Uh, as you can see, the top three, maybe four leaders, if you want to include Vegapunk, are playable in terms of the meta right now. They can actually play and be competitive. And, you know, Bonnie for sure and Rob Lucci are actually really, really good decks. Tier 1 to Tier 2 for sure. Um, okay, next let's compare it to OP05 and see how it compares to their leader prices. Starting with Poofy, Purple Luffy uh, right now. Uh, the most expensive uh, leader in OP05, as you can see, his price uh, jumped up quite a bit in the last month or so, and it's right now $49.83. And compared to the most expensive card in OP07, it's actually a little bit lower. So uh, there's about $10 or $11 difference between the two uh, most expensive leaders in each set. Next, we have Enel, and this one's actually surprising just because Enel is another meta and very relevant um, tier one leader out there. Um, obviously, some people hate playing against this leader. As you can see, the prices are comparable with OP07 leaders. Um, you know, Boa's the second most special card is actually more. Boa's at 57 and Enel's only at $39.25, which is good, affordable, um, but as you can see, um, the scarce, uh, the, the availability of a set doesn't really affect the leader um, prices that much. Uh, next, uh, we have Sakazuki. Obviously, this one is a little bit special just because of the banning. It might be a little bit higher if it was not banned, um, but it is what it is, and it's actually still pretty good value at twenty one dollars twenty two cents. And then we are going to the last three leaders of so OP 5 five. We um, that are not really relevant. It's a lot more fun decks, so to speak. So we have Bello Betty. So Bello Betty is actually going up a little bit. Uh, and right now it's at $20.90. And then we have Sabo. Same thing. It kind of went up a little bit, it, but it, the market price right now is $18.36. And then the last one, we have Rosinante. And Rosinante is pretty holding steady for a while now at around $15. As you, as you can see, compare the last three leaders to about the last three leaders in OP07. It's about the same. Like Dragons uh, around 16 and then uh, you see Foxy's around 17. Vegapunk's a little bit higher. A lot of it might be playability. You know, people want to experiment with the new Vegapunk um, ones, but Vegapunk as a leader by itself it's not really meta relevant so um that's kind of uh interesting there to see maybe maybe uh people realize it's actually much much stronger than what i think it is uh so you can see the prices for op07 and op05 in terms of leaders are actually very very comparable there's not that much difference in there so yeah another i guess um uh, proof or another more of example how uh, even though there's a lot of OP07 products available out there that yeah the prices are pretty much the exact same thing as all the other sets out there um, right now so yeah so that has been the leader next let's go look a quickly look especially there's a lot of cards at the character alt art and compare the prices between the two sets all right, next, let's go look at uh, the character alt arts and the prices and do a little bit comparison. Uh, since there's so many things, I'm not going to go through every single one. What I did is top uh, pick the top five for each set and kind of compare them. Uh, I, I'm going to keep repeating this. Uh, this is not an advice. This is not a, a way for me to tell you what to do. This is not investment or anything like that. It's just a way for me to illustrate that, hey, just because a set is re readily available doesn't mean that the cards are going to zero all right so we're gonna start again with op07 uh, op07 um, starting out with ace uh, also i'd like to mention too uh, uh, with all of the, this this applies to all of the cards a lot of it will be depending on the playability uh, a lot of the card prices are based on the playability of them so um, keep that in mind when looking at the comparisons as i said before don't look at the specifics to, um, look at it more of a, a whole a holistic approach in looking and comparing the two sets one that's um, less than MSRP prices and one that's almost double the MSRP price All right so let's go start out with the most expensive uh, character alt art in OP07 with the ace alt art um, yeah this one pretty pretty good value um, and it's right now it's $49.72 next we have Luffy egghead Luffy uh, very, very playable card. Same thing with Ace. Um, these two yellow cards are a menace to society. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Meyer Price is one's about similar, around $49.13. Next, we got Hancock. 
obviously this one is with the blue leaders uh with the blue hancock leader out there uh, this one's the market price of $37.21 not as popular and playable as the first two um but blue is kind of making a little bit of renaissance right now which is great uh next we have jimbe same thing uh this is probably gonna get higher uh once blue dofi becomes way 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 more relevant in the meta right now uh yeah this the market price right now is 33 dollars 96 cents it won't be i won't be surprised if it actually jumps over boa hancock in the near future and then next we have sanji uh, this one's actually got nerfed a little bit uh just because of the red purple law uh bannings as you can see that's like a <laughs> there's a huge dip here uh just because of the uh bannings but hey this card is still good um raju can still play it uh obviously all future uh, purple decks can still play it uh and right now the market price is around 30 dollars 92 cents and it looks like it held that value pretty well throughout the entire um set so far and uh yeah so that has been the last five uh or top five character alt art prices in op07 next let's go look and compare it to op05 we're gonna start out with the luffy um so one of the things that ace that that's going uh that ace has going for him uh in op07 is that it's very very playable card it's a very meta relevant card obviously this luffy card is not <laughs> that uh uh meta relevant compared to that uh ace card but this card does have luffy and luffy his popularity is still amazing so that's why as you can see that price held up really really well and even went up a little bit um earlier this month uh, but it's holding steady at around 37 dollars 42 cents there and it's um obviously a little bit lower than the ace a lot of it might be playability but it's still really high because it's luffy uh next we have rebecca uh, so this rebecca is played by pretty much most black lags out there including Rabuchi, and Rabuchi is better relevant um in terms of uh, a deck out there right now and it looks like it's holding steady at 26 dollars 71 cents as you can see it's it's way way lower than the one um than the egghead luffy one right now um yeah it's like nearly half the value there and next we have Rabuchi, another meta relevant card if you basically play rebecca i mean obviously it's not a strong uh it compared to the sakazuki combo that we had uh last set before the banning um but Rabuchi can still get played by by other black leaders including rob luchi leader uh and right now the market price right now is 16 dollars 40 cents compared to the boa uh one which is pretty much half the price uh next we have kaido this one's not really meta relevant as much as other cards uh and the market price reflects that it's around 15 dollars 96 cents and then last one we have kid uh this one's actually uh, probably a lot more meta relevant than kaido um I guess they're, they're about even uh, as you can see the price the last month or so fluctuated uh, i went up and then uh went down and then it's going up right now and it's, uh, holding steady at around 15 dollars 43 cents as you can see comparing the top five prices in op07 and op05 there's a lot more value for sure in terms of the top end at least in op07 compared to op05 so quick glance um if you are thinking that you know you buy op07 and there's no value in any of the cards you open uh, as you can see here there's there's actually quite a bit and uh, uh something to keep in mind if you're buying singles as well as if you are um ripping packs because you're a coll co uh, collector and you're trying to kind of recoup some of your um investments or some of your costs there for sure all right the last but not least let's go look at the secret rares and then we'll quickly look at the srs as well all right, we're down to the last stretch here. Uh, we're gonna look at the secret rare prices and then we're gonna quickly look at some of the SR prices as well. Starting with the ACE secret rare from OP07. Uh, as you can see, the value is pretty good with $23.01. Uh, it's not Katakuri levels, but it's actually really, really good. I said before, a lot of the cards in secret rare as well as uh, regular SRs, a lot of it Pretty much all of it will be dictated by its playability um but yeah ace here you can see 23 dollars which is great next the second uh, secret rare and definitely less 
playable than Ace. We have Sabo here, and Sabo is at seven seven dollars and fifty one cents, like less than half of the value of the Ace Secret Rare there. Now let's go compare it to OP05 with Luffy here. So Luffy obviously less playable than Ace currently in the meta. Might change in the future if Red Purple Log gets um, uh, more playable. So uh, right now, this Luffy card is at $9.63, uh, about half the value of the Ace Secret Rare. And then we have Kaido, um, which is about comparable to the popularity of Ace Secret Rare. And this one's at $6.90, which is about the same. Um, so, you know, as I said before, uh, as you can see, uh, very comparable prices in terms of the Secret Rare. And as you can see, Ace is trumping all of the value in terms of... Um, uh both of the uh secret rares in op05 and uh yeah another way to illustrate that yeah there's a lot still of value in op07 out there um and then uh yeah and then all right finally let's go look at the srs uh just quickly just so that you can see because a lot of the for someone that resells cards that i pulled uh in ebay uh a lot of the value that i get back from opening uh boxes it actually comes from srs just because i am able to sell it to people that wants to play only not necessarily collect um so yeah so let's go compare op07 uh, like top four i believe srs and then let's go compare it to op05 starting with egghead luffy so egghead luffy is the most expensive srs out there the market price right now is at five dollars 59 cents and it looks like it's fluctuating quite a bit but it's around five to around the you know seven dollar range so 559 there next we have sanji sr um uh, a little bit more stable than the egghead luffy and the market price right now is four dollars 22 cents next we have jinbei Jinbei is actually similar um, to Sanji. Uh, market price right now is three dollars eighteen cents. Might actually go up if Blue Dofi becomes a thing. Next we have Porsche. Uh, Porsche is actually holding steady uh, at two dollars eighty three cents. Uh, not bad, especially since uh, Reju is <laughs> be uh, uh, coming up and up uh, right now. Uh, and then finally we have Boa. So Boa is definitely a lot more stable price and it's around one dollar 95 cents obviously if, if you just look at it by itself it sounds like op07 srs have, have no value or very little value um, but actually if you compare it to op05 prices uh, you might actually be surprised all right let's go look at the most expensive, uh, expensive sr in op05 we have rebecca um rebecca right now with the market price two dollars 19 cents uh so yeah as, you know it's still uh, playable uh in terms of a card uh, out there so still meta relevant uh with all the you know the raw blue chi decks out there uh next we have um the skid uh one so it's a very strong card as well um and the market price for this one is only one dollar 43 cents uh next we have koala definitely uh becoming a lot more less relevant compared to the first two uh, and her price is less than one dollar. It's at eighty-one cents. And then uh, next we have Rao Lucci, and that's one at seventy-two cents. So as you can see, OP07 singles are actually way, way more <laughs> has way, way more value compared to OP05 uh, prices. Even though OP05 um, sealed are way more. Uh, costs a lot more than op07 so uh what, what what did we learn here why you know what what conclusion can we make well basically there's there's not much difference in terms of prices um for a box or for a set that's way more affordable and way more available versus one that's way more expensive and uh, presumably way way less um singles in the market just because people are holding it um uh, for investment or any other reasons um, because they want to keep it sealed, right? Um, and we can take this information moving forward because I believe from now on, all future sets, aside from special ones like OP09, where you know Bandai seems like every single year they want to do something special for the one-year anniversaries uh, where they'd release five, six, 
<laughs> or mangas uh, as well as like golden manga and stuff like that those those will probably follow uh similar to op05 but everything else i think they'll be closer to be printed on demand so just because you see the prices go down at msrp doesn't mean that the prices are crap that doesn't mean that all the price all the cards that you have are zero no no this is healthy this is good that means that both the collectors as well as players are happy there's still a good healthy secondary market out there um so if, regardless if you want to open packs or if you want to buy singles both parties or both parts of the one piece card game community can be happy and can be satisfied um so yeah hopefully this has been um inform informative for you definitely informative for me uh just because that's something that i've definitely heard before of uh you know people are a little bit worried that with the prices uh boxes and sets are becoming a lot more available and cheaper that the single prices just tank to nothing as always i hope everyone will have an amazing rest of the week and i'll see you guys later cheers